elections were about 18 minutes apart. I'm all, I can also tell you that the mayor's office is having an emergency meeting. I can, you can expect that they will be convening at the emergency command tower, which is at 7 World Trade Center, right across from the scene. That's supposed to be bomb-proof and shatter-proof, and they're supposed, they have a headquarters there on the seventh floor. They will probably be monitoring this crisis from that area. And in, and all, and, and their LA has a tactical alert where they are beginning to evacuate buildings. And then there is also another decision by the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. No planes are going to be allowed to take off from any airport in this entire country. All planes, no planes will be taking off today. They have made a decision to stop all air traffic control, all air Marcia, traffic. All <coughs> Marcia, we got to interrupt you. We just saw live from Chopper 2 yet another explosion. Did anybody, Janine, yes. what did you see? You saw, was it an airplane or was it a... It looked like part of the building, if not most of the top collapsed and all the debris from the building was falling down towards the Look ground. at the smoke. Look at the smoke. This is The whole building, did it collapse? Do we, have, do we have Jim Smith available on microphone from Chopper 2 as he Go takes ahead. these pictures? Jim? Yes, I, I am here, Michael. Oh, Jim, tell us, tell us what's happening out there. Oh, my We just gosh. witnessed some kind of secondary uh, follow-up explosion on the World Trade Center number two, the one Our, that is on everybody. the south that is it's difficult to make out through the debris and smoke, but it does appear that a portion, the top portion of the building has collapsed down to the streets below. Right now, what police have to determine is whether that explosion was caused from the initial impact of the plane or whether it was something that was exploded on the ground. Generally speaking, for a building to collapse in on itself like that, it would seem to indicate, obviously this is just early speculation, but it would seem to indicate that there could have been an explosion, a bomb planted on the ground that would make the building collapse within itself. Michael, stay with us if you would. We want to go back to Marcia Kramer, who's in the newsroom, for a further update. Marcia? Well, we have a number of updates. Number one, um, CNN is now reporting that there was a third explosion at the World Trade Center, probably an explosion from the ground that caused World Trade Center 1 to collapse on top of itself. Again, there was a third explosion. It's unclear what caused it, whether it was a bomb or whether the first plane that crashed into the tower had somehow been booby-trapped with a bomb that was timed to explode later after the crash had occurred. But CNN is reporting that there was a third explosion that caused World Trade Center 1 to collapse within itself and then collapse on other surrounding buildings. Seeing on your screen right now is live. Mm -hmm. This is not tape at all. This is the only remaining World Trade Center tower, the other collapsing not too long ago. Both victims of plane crashes. The second, uh, the tower rather that has collapsed, though we are told, collapsed because of a third explosion. explosion. The source of that, though, at this point, we don't know. A uh, full-scale investigation to hunt down uh, those responsible. Let's go back to Cindy Shu in the newsroom, who's joining us now with another update. Cindy, uh, wait a second. This is, a, is this a live picture. This is a live picture. We are seeing the second World Trade Tower Center, World Trade Center Tower Number One has just collapsed, ladies and gentlemen. You see it live in our picture. One World Trade Center has just collapsed. That means both World Trade Center buildings have collapsed. If Jim Smith is with us still in Chopper 2, Jimmy, you there? What? Michael, we uh, just saw that as well. The second tower, the only one that was standing, tower number one, just uh, we saw some kind of explosion. A lot of smoke come out of the top of the tower, and then uh, it collapsed down onto the streets below, much like we saw the first tower just about a half hour ago. And uh, they have called all Bros, we hate to interrupt all doctors, you. all nurses, all aides, everyone has Bros, been called into the hospital. We hate to interrupt you. We've just been told. A fourth explosion. A fourth explosion. Now in the area of the Trade World Trade Center. Trade Centers. Obviously, neither tower is still standing. We don't know the source of this fourth explosion, as well as now a fourth explosion at the site of the World Trade Center. You continue to look live at the scene. We know that, thank goodness, not all 50,000 people were in the World Trade Center Hi. at the time. That's some video that, Angela, you mentioned yeah. where it looks like to be in a, a war zone. Right. That's a war zone Look right outside this. the World Trade Center Look at in this. Lower Manhattan. This is some new tape we're getting in, and look at the, the situation there. Firemen roaming around, cars, just ashes everywhere, fire everywhere. It's just, it's an incredible scene. I know we have sound from a, a, a fireman, a very emotional sound, a uh, fireman who was in the midst of this today.
never seen before. It, it's an unbelievable sight. I've never seen something like this. And I'm 20 years on this job. This is the worst I've ever seen it before. It, 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 it's unbelievable, the, the devastation. Let's continue. We were talking about Washington, too, because this, this tragedy has hit more than New York and Washington this morning. While we were dealing with this on our TV screens, there was another attack, a plane, uh, United Airlines jet striking the heart of a U.S. military complex. Also there, loss of life, um, no numbers exactly. Then a second plane that uh, was either targeting the Pentagon or Camp David, a late word, it was targeting Camp David, presidential retreat in Maryland, that plane uh, forced down by U.S. fighter planes. And, uh, of course, there was another plane that was said to be hijacked that crashed near the Pittsburgh area, and that happened at around 10 a.m. Uh, we're told that about 266 people possibly have been killed in those four separate airline crashes. That's 266 passengers and crew members aboard those four flights. And One of the things that's going on now is the question about how New York City and also federal law enforcement um, authorities are going to be able to respond to this, because in the same building with the, with the city's emergency preparedness office, office what in World Trade Center number seven was the Secret Service office. We don't know at this point how many Secret Service officers and emergency personnel were in that building. What we do know that the building caught fire. It's in danger of collapse. It may already have collapsed by the time we're talking about it. That is a concern. 